Hello, my fellow adventurers! This is Maluncha, and welcome back to New World. In today's video, we are gonna go over the next five PvP tracks, and if I recall correctly, it is 171 to 175. So yeah, let's check out what we can get in this episode. We got checkpoint one, the procedures, solemnizes headdress of the scholar, critical retribution with health. We got Dragata, that's sort of a... Uh, uh, returning what's say renaming but it's not renaming it's returning uh named legendary we seen before even before the upgrades to 700 gear score and now it actually returns with 680 here with shuriken heals sturdy energy and health we got a small heap of coins 1710 we got the heft another one of the uh warhammer returning uh well they're basically in the track more than once and they got an upgrade as well as the dragata of course Cruel, Vicious, a Fractured, Rent, Life Stealing. So, pretty good one. We got a Champion's Ring, Leeching, Invigorating, Punishment, and Hardy. So, overall, not too bad. Sad. I kind of find it sad that it is a Constitution one. But even if it's Constitution one, it means you can use it in multiple builds. So, on that perspective, it is actually pretty good. We got a Medium Aster Potion Pack Tier 5. The Brash, Predator, Frostbites of the Scholar, Keen Vision, and Healing Tomb. Now, I don't really like Keen on weapons, and Healing Tomb is something you kind of want on your gear. You kind of want to have a damage uh, damage perk, a damage weapon perk on your weapon, and not um, a utility perk, I guess you could say. Now, this, if it wasn't Keen and Vicious, and you could actually get, like, uh, Secret on here, I would actually like, think about, like, using this. Healing Tomb is pretty good, as you want to use it defensively as a healer to get away, right? So then, in that situation, it might actually work. Uh, we got a padded grant, overseers, check boots of the sage, focus, freedom, keen berserk, and health. Why the hell is keen berserk in there? If it had refreshing on it, or any other perk, preferably refreshing, of course, I would instantly buy these ones and upgrade them and uh, use them. Because I'm still looking for freedom. Uh, as you can see right now, I'm using elemental aversion, health, and luck. Not really the best. Three perks. Elemental version, not bad. Health is basically what you want on every piece of gear. Uh, but luck, I'd rather have refreshing in there or a, a weapon, a weapon talent that I don't have yet. But yeah, these freedom and health, and then healy, healy bizarre guys. Ugh, not really. And then something stinks. We got another emote in here now. I only got fifteen thousand. I'm kind of saving up for my red, my red weapons, uh, my, my my shiny red items. But I cannot go over something stinks. I, I just can't. I need to buy it. I need to check it out. So yeah, that's exactly what we're going to buy. 1,448. That is, I think, the least amount of Azal Salt I ever... Well, maybe at the start of the track when I had zero, right? But holy crap. Something stinks. Let's check it out and complete this track. The next track we see a couple legendaries, but nothing that seems named item. So prestige Talibizes, legging of the soldier, strength, jerk and heals, physical aversion and health, large bundle of faction tokens and a medium cartogo potion pack tier five. We got the brash champions, great sword of the ranger, dexterity, uh, great sword with keen jerk and abyss and vicious. Yeah, don't like uh, keen on weapons. Got medium super potion pack and gypsum orbs. Don't pick these; they're way too expensive, especially with like fifty thousand for our special items, right? We got checkpoint three: constitution, vigor, elemental aversion, and health. Actually, three pretty good setups. Like burn, bleed, and poison can be pretty good if you actually stack them on top of each other. I'm not really sure if they work like uh, refreshing, because refreshing and freedom. Uh, after you have four perks, the fifth perk basically doesn't work anymore. So I'm not really sure if Figure has the same type, uh, if it works the same way. As you can see on my light headwear, refreshing, it says perk stack four out of four. But it doesn't say here with refreshing, so uh, with Figure. We got Gypsum Orbs again and it champions a buckler. Keen refreshing, shield aggression, dam base damage and keenly empowered. So, yeah, overall, not too impressed with the rewards for track 172. Let's complete it. Let's get some uh, extra Azot Assault and move on to the next track. For track 173, we've got Procedure Stormizers, Boots of the Rangers, Mending Execute, and Health. 
with dexterity we got large bundle of faction tokens and a large pile of coins 1375 the exhilarating champion spirit ranger dexterity penetrating backstab and vicious a small astro potion pack tier 5 gypsum orbs way too expensive another gypsum orb here we've got the exhilarating champions fire staff of the scholar keen vicious and empowering meter shower empowering meter shower on a weapon pretty good keen it doesn't need to be on there and prestigious idolator shirt of the century i do no 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 i'm mistaken i was looking at the the picture and i was like well, isn't this supposed to be a named one refreshing invigorating and health overall not too bad constitution i think i had this one at one point for like a sword and shield build for uh opr just as a test yeah there we go these are the <clears throat> oh, excuse me holy crap frog in my throat these are rewards for 173 guys let's move to the next one and complete this one for track 174 we are getting small brown potion pack there for a prestigious shattered heavy boots of the scholar intellect refreshing unending thaw and health overall pretty good heavy bootwear if you want to make like a tanky a tanky ice gauntlet build then this is definitely one of the items that you want for it sadly yeah you can't upgrade it to 700 large heap of faction tokens 9500 tokens is actually a pretty big amount for the amount of coins that you uh, have to pay for it we got cruel champions life staff of the sage cruel blessed and shuriken arcana definitely not interesting small brown potion pack there for Chips Norps, too expensive. Champion's Tower Shield, we've seen this one. Uh, come back here multiple times already. Sure Footing, Shielding Defense, Refreshing, and Frozen Shield Ward. That is definitely a new perk on here. Because that was not here before. Frozen Shield Ward, received 15% less ice damage. It's pretty, pretty expedition specific. <laughs> Uh, chips and orbs again too expensive and the prestigious idolator shoes of the soldier strength elemental aversion last rain of arrows and health overall not too bad light footwear so pretty good and strength can be worked into every build as you kind of want to go for at least like uh, 50 points into strength for the majority of the builds because it gives 10 percent heavy attack damage and then the 25 percent is 5 percent light attack damage so that definitely works for bow muskets and rapiers and everything of the sort as well, right? Yeah, there we go. Track complete on to the last one for this episode. And seems we already did checkpoint one. We'll be checking that later. For the final track of this episode, we find a ruby gypsum. That's uh, been a while. We usually see these uh, gypsum orbs in here multiple times. So actually, like every time you see one, there's always a second one in there we got prestigious shattered grievers of the century refreshing and health a large bundle of coins 805 i still don't get why the naming is so off like a small 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 bundle is like 1700 and a large bundle is like 800 it's, it's just weird champions blunderbuss of the soldier vicious leeching shrapnel blast pretty good but yeah missing a third perk and cannot make it into 700 large super potion pack tier 5 chips and orb chips and orb Champions of Blunderbuss of the Soldier, Vicious Plague Splitting Grenade, and Exhausting Exploitation. This is actually a pretty good one. Like, Vicious is really good. Plague Splitting Grenades is actually pretty good. And Exhausting Exploitation, PvP only hits against Exhausted Players, inflict slow. Actually, really good as well. But yeah, now that the Pestilence is out, I do feel like Blunderbuss players mostly are going to go towards the Pestilence instead of any other... Well, there might be, like, some perks that are on other bundle buses except for the pestilence right and as lastly we got prestigious let me check this prestigious solemnizer's glove of the ranger dexterity shuriken heals empowering breaker and health empowering blaker it's an interesting perk but yeah i'm, I'm not really sure what i need to think about it uh, Shuriken Heals got a lot of nerfs. Uh, health is still a main perk. So yeah, Dexterity. Definitely Empowering Break is Shield and Sword. So yeah, a little bit of Dexterity as I talked before. Might actually bring you along the way. Critical hit chance and then 5% uh, damage while at full health. Might actually benefit you a little bit. 
But for now, we are gonna end this track up here, 175. And that also means the end of this episode, guys. Really nice, no red shiny items, but that is not a problem because I'm still at 34,000 and I still need 50 to get that next one. So I'm gonna sit my ass down here like I always do and end this episode up here. If you wanna see more of my uh, PvP reward track overview or my let's play here in New World or any other game that I might be playing on my channel, just hit that subscribe button. It would always help out a lot. I do hope you enjoyed this episode and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.